Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I suppose a Merry Christmas is in order for those of you who do celebrate the Christmas holiday and happy holidays for everybody else. Who should I play as this time? I defeated the game with Eve last time pretty much thanks to a lucky mom's knife that I picked up in the first item room. I beat it as a blue baby fairly recently. You know, I haven't played as Maggie in a long time. I've been playing as Isaac, I've been playing as Kane, I've been playing as pretty much everybody but Maggie. In fact, maybe Judas would be in order too, and of course I already took some damage because I am not used to how slow Maggie is. Wow, this is like trying to pilot an Astro Van through a snowstorm right now. I guess we do have that Yum Heart so we can replenish our health pretty easily, but I'm really hoping to pick up a speed up as soon as possible. And hopefully a bomb as well because there is a Tinted Rock in here as well as a chest that I cannot get to unless I have a bomb. Now, Doctor's Remote, I think we'll actually... Well, first things first. Let's use Mom. Let's use uh, Yum Heart here. We'll take Doctor's Remote. I think I can use this as a bomb. Let's try to blow up that Tinted Rock. Oh god, aim it appropriately. That worked. We got two bombs out of that. And then we will blow up this chest and hopefully get more bombs. There we go. Okay, that worked out fairly well. Uh, I am going to try to recharge the Doctor's Remote, if, if, if at all possible, because it's going to be very difficult for me to dodge whoever our boss is here. Uh, particularly if it's Larry Jr., but... Uh, worst case scenario, I keep having these nightmares sort of, like, running into the fall-in on the basement part one. And there's another Tinted Rock in here, and more bombs contained therein. Looks like that Doctor's Remote is a huge pickup. Uh, normally I don't use it, but now that I've kind of reasoned that you can use it as a bomb, it's really done well for itself. The tarot card in there as well. Without that Doctor's Remote, none of this is possible. So we'll pick up that, we'll pick up the Sun card, that's a, that's a big card as well. I'll pop this open, what do we have here? The Magician, Homing Tears, probably a waste of a key, but the Sun card is huge. Could use that on the boss, or we could save that for the next floor. Uh, we could use it on Envy as well if we wanted to, but uh, it's kind of useless at this point. Remember, the Sun is by far the best card in the game. It basically is a death card, so like the Necronomicon. Uh, also, it is like the world card, it reveals everything on the map. What else does it do? I forget the rest. I think it might drop items for you as well. Like, it might be like a justice card. It drops a key and a bomb, etc, etc. So we'll save that for the next floor, because, you know, God knows I'm probably going to need a key on the next floor. And for now, is it just me or does it seem like Envy is going slower than usual? Which is fine by me. It allows me to actually plan my attack here. Although this room is taking forever. I could actually hit this guy. The problem with Envy is never... Well, it's rarely, I should say, that you're gonna run into these things by accident. It's that what's gonna happen is you're gonna shoot this guy, he's gonna explode, and maybe the pieces are actually gonna hit you. The debris, or the shrapnel. The Envy shrapnel. Yeah, one cent for all of that. Um, so we will use Doctor's Remote on whatever boss we're facing. Probably in terms of like the easiest boss to hit, well, there's two locations for the secret room. Let's do that first. Could be here. Oh, perfect. Only one bomb wasted. Uh, and we got... What is this? Slowing effect on our shots. Man, I haven't had a uh, spider bite in a long time. I thought that was Charm of the Vampire at first. Hey, that's a pretty good pickup. It means we really don't need to pick up Gish to get slowing effect. What was I going to say? I was going to say, in terms of enemies that are easiest to hit with Doctor's Remote, we're probably looking at uh, Duke of Flies. Managed to get a good shot on, on Larry Jr. there, but that actually took uh, some multitasking there. I was having difficult, difficulty separating my brain, doing two tasks at once. Moving with one hand and then aiming with the other. That's okay. That's why I went to school, right? Then we're going to destroy this Larry Jr. slowing effect, doing a pretty good job. Interested to see how um, Spider Bite works here, because I haven't used it in a long time. Not in recent memory, anyway. Obviously, that was Blue Larry Jr., so we picked up a Spirit Heart. We got a range upgrade as well, which is fine, because we're not dealing with a Brimstone or a Mom's Knife right now. Let's use the Sun card. Ah, I don't want to use it on this room. I'd prefer to find the boss room as quick as possible, and then use uh, the Sun card. Because then we could see where everything was. But really, I mean, the Sun card is not that useful considering how early we are on the game. And how little risk I is essentially brought against me right now. But those are famous last words, so we'll see what happens. Let's go exploring up here. Ah, whatever. Let's use the Sun card on this room. It does... Oh, it doesn't drop a key for you, but that's okay. It shows us where everything is. There's the item room. Uh, Doctor's remote is recharged. The 
downside to Doctor's Remote, it's pretty good against like single targets or using it as a bomb, but you're never going to be able to use it on a room like this where enemies are moving around too quickly for you to be able to aim effectively. Hopefully this pill is a health up. Getting really lucky with those. Speed down. That's actually really bad. Another range upgrade. Uh, could not care less about that at this point. We will go to the secret room. Really need to pick up a speed upgrade or I'm just going to get whittled down to nothing very, very quickly. The other, the other thing that would help me is uh, the ability to fly. If I could get Lord of the Pit or something, that would make it... I think that would make it good for me. Because I wouldn't have to deal with my speed as much. I could just kind of hide in the corner, especially if I got a Ouija board or something that works well in conjunction with Lord of the Pit. But in terms of like actual raw killing power right now, I feel okay with this upgrade. Or with this build so far, but oh that's terrible. That speed upgrade is gonna hurt the speed downgrade is gonna hurt me. There's another range upgrade. Kind of ridiculous, but alright, that's okay. Could use some damage upgrades as well. I mean if I'm gonna be so slow, I might as well pack a really powerful punch, because otherwise like think of the caves when I get into the silkworm areas where there are certain rooms where it's nearly impossible not to get hit by silkworms. The only way out of those situations is to really have as much damage as humanly possible and kill them before they can get to you. Hopefully, we pick up a speed upgrade before that becomes an issue. But we're gonna go down and fight the boss right away because again, you know, usually bosses tend to be pretty static, so I'll be able to hit them with Doctor's Remote, which should do a fair amount of damage. And I can also slow my enemies, which is important. I mean, if I didn't have this, I'd be in a lot more trouble if I didn't have the spider bite effect. Okay, we're dealing with the champion monstro here. I'm gonna wait for him to jump. Like do a big jump. So I'm just gonna attack him for a while. Or I suppose I could slow him as well, but he should be doing a big jump any second now. I guess he can't really do a big jump when he's slowed. He only moves like an inch and a half. Let's goad him into his monster of two habits here. Well, maybe I won't even have to use Doctor's Remote on him this time. It's going to take a long time, but I seem to be able to whittle him down pretty effectively. Just got to be careful, make sure he doesn't come out of that spider bite when I least expect it. The thing with the uh, Doctor's Remote is that it actually takes a while to come down, so I want to make sure he's kind of standing in one position. I might not even get a chance to use it. In fact, I would probably hurt myself if I chose to use it at this point. Let's just, uh, we'll take Monstro down the old-fashioned way. I'm not a huge fan of Doctor's Remote as an item. But it, it has its uses, particularly when you don't have any bombs. There's another Spirit Heart. There's another damage upgrade. Again, Pentagram showing up consistently now. And I will probably make a deal with the Devil Trade here. Almost regardless of what he has. Yeah, you know what? I will pick up Brimstone. I know some people still don't like Brimstone. Honestly, at this point, my advice is get over it. Uh, I'd rather have Brimstone than have a run that's ruined on the Caves Part 1 because I'm not dealing enough damage. So I believe Brimstone does scale with damage, so we will pretty much wreck everything for the duration of these early floors anyway. I would prefer Teleport to uh, Doctor's Remote, so we'll stick with Teleport. And really no need... Oh man, this is bad. Uh, low speed and Brimstone against Flies. Pretty much the only situation where Flies are going to get the better of you in this game. And now I do have pretty low health with Maggie, so I've got to possibly... Again, we got to watch out for Eyeless Ooze Guys as well, or, you know, Eyed Ooze Guys. It's another key for us, which means the shop is a possibility. I'm going to use Teleport to see if I get to the I Am Arrow room. No such luck. Uh, I'm not going to go to the shop. I'm going to save my key for either the shop or the item room on the next floor when I have 15 cents, so I know that I can absolutely buy an item there. But for now, we're doing well. We're really low on health, which could end up coming to bite us in the ass on the Caves Part 1. Again, uh, oh, uh, can I, is there anything new in this deal with the Devil Room? Do I really want nine lives? I don't think so. Um, like, Ooze Guys could destroy me here. Silkworms could do uh, quite, a, quite a number on me. A lot of potential enemies that are really bad to be fighting if you don't have good speed. Let's come in here, and I could use some HP upgrades, honestly, now, too. I, I would rather have Teleport than the Laser, just because Teleport is going to give me that opportunity to get to the I Am Arrow room, which could potentially be huge if I end up, uh, you know, picking up some great pills, or, again, speed upgrades would be huge at this point. And it upgrades so quickly. Or I should say it recharges so quickly. What do we have in here? Yeah, I will open this up because I want some more keys. Well, more money's fine, too. The good thing about traveling slowly is that I can kind of dodge less effectively, but I also am less likely to use my, like, huge speed to get me into a disadvantage, which actually happens a lot where I will accidentally, like, walk on spikes because I didn't realize how fast I was. Now here we're dealing with turrets. 
should be easy. Another actual room where slow is kind of not as much of a disadvantage. I definitely want to give money to Judgment, but I want to go to the shop first. Now, this room should be one where I don't take any damage. The only trick is that I should be hitting them from behind rocks. Let's teleport again. Again, any chance to get to the I Am Error room is a, a huge advantage. So it could potentially... It, in fact, it could be like the make or break of this run is whether or not I get to the I Am Error room. Got a treasure chest there, which is good. Hopefully we pick up something useful from that. A pill, speed down. Uh, that would probably be the worst thing in the world if I could take that. I would probably be stationary. Uh, no keys with which to open that door, which is a damn shame. I might actually have to go visit Judgment first, just because he'll probably give me a key if I give him en enough money. Telepills again, or teleport, I should say. Here's our boss. Taking me a while to charge up my brimstone there, but it, it was worth it, let's put it that way. Here's our bomb. You know what, we'll fight the boss right away. We've already explored most of the level. Uh, speed down against Gertie. This is actually not a terrible situation to be in. I could use bombs against Gertie, but Brimstone really should be enough. Oh man, those bullets are slow. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Uh, it is going to make it a little bit harder to dodge those shots that Gertie spits out. But the slowing effect is actually making it pretty good as well, because... they Ah, oh, that was dumb. They are coming out so slow that I can, uh, well, they actually don't reach me. They kind of lose momentum before they get to me. I might actually choose to use some bombs during this, simply because of the fact that this is taking kind of a while. I don't really have enough speed to get out and, you know, pop, pop off a couple shots before Gertie gets me. I, you know what, let's just do my old-fashioned strategy of goading Gertie to shoot one way and then just going around the other way. In fact, this seems to be, work much better than hiding behind the rock, although it might be, indeed, a little bit slower. Oh, one more hit will do it. Birdie died, dropped an HP up, which is of the utmost usefulness right now, actually. Teleport takes us back to Judgment. We do have to, we don't really have a way around this. Uh, so let's hope that he gives us some keys. And still leaves us with enough money to go to the shop effectively. Alright, bombs, that's fine too. I would also settle for just an HP up from Judgment at this point. Well, we're down below the 15 cent threshold at this point. Something useful, please. Giving you a lot of money here, Judgment. Okay, those hearts are not useful yet. Maybe one day. Oh, come on, buddy. That's like 10 cents now. I, I get it. <laughs> it's not Valentine's Day, it's Christmas. Oh my god, 14 cents. Now I've spent 15 cents that I would have spent at the shop. And I guess I got a map, so it's equivalent, I suppose. Let's go to the secret room here. No keys, which is, is really sad, actually. And there's enough money to basically make up for what I lost there. Minus two cents, which is fine. That, that worked out okay. But I still need some keys with which to go back to the shop. Otherwise, uh, you know, 17 cents is pretty worthless, considering I can't buy my way into the shop. Now, oh, this is bad. Again, flies and no speed is a very bad combination, even though they're probably, like, the least harmful enemies in the game least dangerous enemies in the game, at least for the most part. I should really try to find an arcade and get that poo helmet. Let's teleport. Eventually we've got to find the I Am Arrow room, right? I'm not going to worry too much about being down half a heart. Inevitably I'll pick up something along the way. I'll start by going up, because I, I do want to explore absolutely everything on this floor. Honestly, if we didn't have Brimstone at this part, I would probably be considering this uh, to be a doomed run. In fact, uh, Probably by the time we got to the depths, I would consider myself lucky to be alive, because... Not really... The speed is rarely a determining factor, but here it's it's been a problem. Anarchist Cookbook is not as good as Teleport, simply because of the fact that, that Teleport could give us that huge advantage. All we need is one good I Am Arrow room, and that's it. There's a key. The good thing about that Telepills right there, again, Telepills, Teleport, whatever is that uh, I didn't have to use a key to get into the item room, so now I can just go to the shop. These guys are exactly the same speed as me, so I can't afford to make a misstep here. In fact, the eye guys might even be a little bit faster. Just a little bit. Teleport again. No? Okay, well, I'm not going to waste my key on that unless a key drops from one of those, which it did not. Luckily, I spawned from the right door, so this room is less of a challenge than it is if you come in through the top door. We don't know where the boss is, and I would prefer to go to the shop before the boss. 
just in case I did pick up something, you know, remarkably useful, which is maybe unlikely, but we'll see. Bad gas is a better pill than speed down. Here's another teleport. Well, it's an exciting run if you're a, if you're a fan of the teleports. May end up, well, we might as well at least play the, uh, the Blood Bank once. We'll come back here later if it's deemed appropriate. And I guess we will explore this last room here. We could go to the arcade and try to win some keys as well, but again, I'd prefer to go to the shop right away. This is going to be a, a tougher room than usual just because of the fact that I have such diminished speed. So they should be able to get a shot off on me before I can get in range of them. And of course, the Brimstone... Ah, that wasn't so bad, actually. I can't do diagonal shots with Brimstone. Back in the arcade. Um, we'll abandon this for now. Probably won't come back to it, but you never know. Again, the speed down. Oh, man, this is like... Maggie is to speed right now what Eve is normally to damage. Her speed is so low. Normally, by Caves Part 2, I would at least pick up some incidental speed upgrades, and I would just be zipping across the level right now. Again, uh, you know, single deal with the devil would solve our problems as well, because we would just fly. Potentially, if we got Lord of the Pit anyway. Lord of the Pit seems to be a relatively rare upgrade from Deal with the Devil, but it happens. Wow, okay, good upgrades here. Could go with the Unicorn Horn. We're going to start with the Steam Sail, though. And I will pick up this as well. The reason I'm getting the Steam Sail is because this will allow me to hold on to Teleport, whereas if I got Unicorn Horn, I would have to get rid of it. Plus, Steam Sail uh, is going to make it a lot easier for us to reach that item-buying threshold on future levels. So, for example, on the Depths Part 1, we're only going to need 7 cents to get an item instead of the 15 we use right now, or we need right now. Still no keys with which to open that chest. Teleport just took me backwards. Again, a single I am error room. All I need. Some speed up pills. That's it. That was obviously a bad gas pill on the, the ground back there, and you can tell because I'm holding one right now in my hands. Now, this is oftentimes a tricky room. You really gotta pay attention and make sure that you don't get hemmed in in that bottom right corner, which I oftentimes do. Don't notice it's a dead end. This is a really bad uh, boss to be fighting right now. Chubb, or sorry, Chad uh, is gonna take a lot of damage as well. He actually died very quickly there. But he does pack a pretty significant punch as well. Let's pick up Chubb. See what Satan has to offer. Uh, both of those items, half decent, but I don't want them. We'll use teleport. Still no I am error room. That's that's really disappointing, actually. So, we will just go down to the boss room. Luckily, I have some guy here to, you know, give me some health. Oh, man, that is slow. To give me some health when I get into trouble, but... Still not feeling super confident about this. We'll head down to the next floor. Two speed upgrades. If I got two speed up pills, that would be all I would need to feel very comfortable in this run right now. I can't believe I didn't take damage there. I'm doing well on bombs. I mean, that's the other advantage that I have right now that I usually don't have by this point in the game. I should say often don't have at this point in the game. Sometimes I do. And, you know, the average secret room probably pays out about five cents. Or a single slot machine. Maybe we can get a key out of this, though. See? There we go. It's not all bad. That cloud had a silver lining. Ah, uh, we'll go up here, because I will go right first, because we might as well explore everything. Take out the TNT. That was super easy. That's a speed down pill. I'm not even going to check it. Teleport takes us to a room full of leapers. On the bright side, we did uh, slow that turret in the middle for a second. So we had to deal with less of his BS. Where do I want to go now? I guess we'll go to the left, because uh, I was trying to explore everything. Yeah, oh, these guys are way faster than me at this point. Really, I do have a key. Okay, I thought I still needed one. There we go. What's this pill? I'm going to have to take it. Range up. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it's worthless as with Brimstone, but still. Mr. Boom, I don't want. We'll teleport. Judgment. Uh, I've learned my lesson from you, buddy. Actually, we will come back, especially if we don't get any keys. Because an HP up from Judgment would be pretty decent upgrade at this point. Because inevitably I'm going to take damage. There's almost no way around it, considering the build that I'm running right now. Lots of money, which is good if we could actually get to the shop. But that seems to be maybe a little bit unlikely. I got lucky that those fetuses decided to occupy the same territory there. I almost got all four of those hoppers at once. We got one left. Zombies. Okay, Brimstone against Zombies beats Mom's Knife against Zombies ten times out of ten. That's fine. Teleport again. Really gotta get to that I Am Error room. 
another bomb. We might as well come back in here. We're going to explore everything. We're exploring kind of haphazardly, but that's inevitable when you're using teleport as often as I am. Lust, terrible. Terrible boss to be fighting right now. Hopefully I can kill it before it charges at me, because otherwise I'm definitely going to take damage. Please, a speed up hill. Okay, do I, am I even fast enough to get away from that? Luckily I am. And now we have enough... We have a key so we can go to the shop and potentially buy an item. Uh, so we will teleport, see where we end up down here. I guess we're going to explore over here then. There is the boss. Again, this is really kind of a bad boss to be fighting with no speed. It's surprising how many bosses are bad to fight with no speed. Or very low speed, I suppose I should be saying. Should probably, well, we'll explore this last room first. There is a tinted rock in here. Spirit Heart's invaluable, uh, but that is not good. We'll teleport, hopefully this will save us a bit of a walk. I might as well pick up that money first. We're gonna have to come back down this way anyway. Now uh, there's Judgment. We'll instead go to the shop, but we should have some money left over to spend on Judgment, particular, particularly if we run into Greed. Okay, oh, I was really hoping that was going to be the case, where I could take them out with one hit each. And then, into the shop. No Greed. Spelunker's Helmet allows us to see the secret room. Largely worthless at this point, because we have the map. Uh, it does save us a single bomb per secret room. It's not that good. We'll buy the Spirit Art, we'll buy the Tarot card for Strength. That's all stats up for one room. Could be kind of valuable at this point, honestly, considering uh, how low my speed is, and that's kind of become the determining factor at this point. Let's pop this open, we'll say hello to Judgment, maybe for 7 cents he can give us some kind of upgrade. HP upgrade is probably the most likely, but you never know. Even single keys would be fine. Again, more hearts that I don't need. Somebody is cruising for getting blown up right now. One more cent, buddy. Alright, the tarot card is... Oh, two spirit arts, okay. You, you're saved. Well, you're not saved, I'm still gonna blow you up, but... You did not do me wrong there. Now we will go to the boss room. I mean, I could go to that other room down there that we haven't explored yet, but that's not really necessary because the only reason I would be going to that is to get a charge for my teleport spacebar item, but we already have one more boss room to go through anyway, so we're going to get a charge on that nonetheless. So, we'll enter Monster 2's domain here. All stats up for a room, and even having this low speed feels like Christmas morning to me because of the fact that I can actually maneuver a little bit. Monster 2 shouldn't be too bad, particularly if I can just goad him into the laser attack, which is, you know, not appearing likely at this point. If I can just get him to stand kind of in the middle... There we go, there's one laser. Now, I, you kind of need good speed to be able to use that strategy because of the fact that you need to get around to both sides of him, uh, you know, relatively quickly. So let's see if I can laser him. I thought that would do it right there, honestly. Oh, well. This is still gonna... Whoa. Whoa. I forgot that he was slowed, I almost got dinged there. Well, I did get dinged there by a bullet fly. Now, laser me? Nope. Any second now, he's gonna go for the laser. He just jumped over that brimstone shot, that was pretty incredible. There we go! Speed upgrade, HP up, which is huge. Why did I say speed upgrade? No, HP up, which is huge. Teleport! Took us back to the mob trap room. Worthless! Just a single I am error room. I've had this teleport for like... I don't know, it's got to be upwards of 15 minutes now, and I still have not gotten to the I Am Error room. I've used probably... I don't know, what do you think? Three charges, four charges of floor? Since the basement part two? That's crazy. Maybe basement, maybe caves part one, I can't remember. But in any case, we made it through here okay. Still doing well on health, surprisingly. Uh, but not well on pretty much everything else. Well, damage, of course, we're doing fine on. Which is the determining factor, and this is kind of a uh, point illustrating that fact. This judgment... <clears throat> excuse me, again. Wrath... Oh, I thought I could get out of there. Well, ah, oh, there's an increased damage upgrade as well as a spirit heart. That's a pretty good pickup. We'll pick that up, of course. I believe that does increase damage, with, even with Brimstone. I hurt myself there. Just to see if I still feel Mr. Boom again. They really want me to pick that up for some reason, but I gotta stick with teleport just in case. Still getting that damage upgrade is fine. I think that's that stacks with Brimstone, so we should be doing even more damage now than usual. Who knows? The Mom's Knife Brimstone dynamic, I never know if they're already at max damage or if they increase damage when you get damage upgrades. That didn't kill the brain? 
half hard, teleport. Okay, back to the mob, or back to the brimstone, or back to the bomberman room. What am I talking about? Now, a case in point, we are on the depths part two right now, and, you know, not going anywhere very quickly. In the last video, I should know we are at 25 minutes right now as well, roughly 25 minutes. In the last video, we beat it in 32 minutes. So seven minutes from now, I was absolutely done with the level, and I had succeeded. It wasn't a death. So this is a kind of a testament to how much slow can affect your game. Here we go, we're fighting a giant brain this time. Should take us two hits to get it into the little brains, and then those will take one hit each. There's another spirit heart, which is good because I have been taking some damage. And then we'll just come over here and use teleport again. And of course, the other reason that things have been going a little bit slower is there's been a lot of teleporting that has actually just pushed me backwards. Like, taking me to a room I don't want to be in, and then I have to backtrack. And, of course, my backtracking takes forever. Teleport again. I uh, can't even open that. Wish I could. Uh, backtracking takes forever, because my base speed is so low. Dodging these leapers is nearly impossible. Again, because of the fact that my speed is so slow, kind of got to rely on ingenuity, which is not my strong point. <laughs> At least in Isaac. Uh, yep, no way to get out of the way of that. I'm actually lucky to not be in a worse position, honestly. I think we'll be okay on this room. Pretty easy puzzle to solve. He almost got me there. He almost got me there. This guy's not even gonna come close. Oh, there maybe he is. If I could actually hit him, there we go. Teleport again. Secret room, that's fine. Saves me a bomb. Uh, let's go over here. Still no keys. Charm of the Vampire kills heal. That's pretty useful. Particularly as a passive, and particularly when I'm taking so much damage here. Just constant damage. Both as a result of my own, I don't want to say lack of skill, but maybe, uh, you know, laziness or... I gotta say, inattentiveness at this point in the game. I should be playing a much different style, considering my speed right now, but, uh... I don't like to adapt like that. <laughs> I just like to do what I do. And then, you know, face the consequences. Thank God we got a half-heart there from Shove, and there's tons of half-hearts around here. So I'm going to pick up at least one more of those before I teleport. Just because you never know, it might teleport me directly to the boss, which would be terrible at this point. Oh, well, Guts Room. Thought I was going to get hit right off the bat. Now with one more guy left. Again, the good thing about teleport is it recharges so quickly, like once every two rooms. So I teleport, beat a room, and then I don't have to... Or I can teleport immediately right away. Thank God we got to that. Um... As you can see, we got to that key so that we can go to the shop right away. We could buy a bomb or we could buy a money bag. This is the final shop. I don't want either of those things. We'll save our money. There's a judgment back here. Teleport will probably bring us closer. I will use a bomb and a key to open this chest because Lord knows I'm never going to need my key for anything else. Yeah, well, we'll just bring judgment to us, I guess. Please give us an HP upgrade and pills that turn out to be speed upgrades because otherwise. There's no way we're going to survive into the womb. Okay, there's bomb. That's fine. I appreciate the effort. It's the thought that counts. That key is actually potentially useful as well. We could go back to the mob trap room and open up some golden chests. Another bomb. Okay, now I'm really getting nervous. I would like you to pay out in the next five cents or there's going to be trouble. It's another key. You got three cents to make it work. Two cents. Oh, thank you. Okay, you did give us an HP upgrade, which is useful. Where is the boss? Have I, already, I already killed the boss on this floor, didn't I? Well, hopefully we can teleport all the way back, because I don't want to have to... Oh, no, we did not kill the boss? We killed the mini-boss, that's right. And, of course, it's the final floor. Well, the normal final floor, so we're dealing with Mom here, which is fine. Should be a pretty easy fight. Uh, again, with Brimstone, pretty much any fight like this is an easy one, because piercing shots are going to make it really easy for us to kind of get away from all these enemies that are coming out. That's fine. It's a little bit difficult to avoid Mom's foot, considering my speed is low, but it's certainly not impossible. Just got to plan ahead a little bit. Always make sure to be aiming at the extremities, because you can get a little bit of bonus damage there. Brimstone's taking a little bit longer to charge than I would like, but again, it's okay. This should be pretty much over at this point. Hoping to pick up an HP upgrade, maybe a speed upgrade, but I don't hold out a lot of hope because the game is a six sense of humor when it comes to giving me what I need. Lord almighty, a speed upgrade. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is probably 
below Maggie's starting speed. In fact, it might be Maggie's exact starting speed, but it feels so much faster now. Secret room is going to give us a lot of money. We'll never be able to spend it anywhere, most likely, but uh, that's okay. Interested to see what teleport gets us here. I would love to go to the I Am Arrow room on this floor, because we could skip an entire floor of the womb. Obviously, uh, that was kind of never an issue for me to get Dark Boy on this one, because it was clear I was going to be taking a lot of damage. Let's open this up. Bomb and key. We'll teleport. Got some Diglets here. Uh, if I can get them all in a row, that would be fantastic. There we go. I was hoping there would be a Tinted Rock among those. Sadly, no. Okay, yeah, let's just take out the Ooze guys first. This should be a, an easy room, all things considered. Walk up here, and we'll get another teleport. Hopefully, some I Am Arrow room action. Nope. Uh, instead, four miniature bosses. But I'm not trying to drum up sympathy, even though I just took some damage, because this should be an easy room. It was dumb damage on my part. Never should have let myself get in the crossfire there. Oh, that was... <laughs> that wasn't dumb damage, that was just unfortunate damage, let's put it that way. Now, it'd be nice if Charm of the Vampire actually, you know, scaled with the damage that you got, so on the womb it actually healed you twice as much. But, of course, look at the game we're playing, that's not gonna happen. There's our boss right away. Uh, definitely gonna use a bomb to open up this tarot card, see what we get. Strength, yep, very useful for one room. Gonna be Skolex, I'll save this card, actually. The Skolex should be a no-brainer. One more hit on him will be enough. This won't do it. I might even... I got lucky to not take damage there. There we go. There's our HP upgrade. There's our deal with the devil, Lord of the Pit. Lord of the, there is Lord of the Pit. Okay, so now we can fly. It's a, it's a huge cost to me at this point. But speed should no longer be as much of an issue. Let's head down to the next floor. Immediately use teleport. Again, this room is, uh, I've talked about this ad nauseum at this point. This room has a definite solution. The way you do it is killing the turret first, then go for the guts, then just stand in the corner. Easy. Picked up a key. That teleport literally only moved us one room, so we'll pop open the secret room. Hopefully don't run into greed. More money, again. Never gonna be able to use it unless I come across a judgment down here, which is not rare. Certainly. Got lucky, and I guess this is another way to solve the room. You can just kill yourself as soon as you open the door. And then, uh, go for the turret, and then go for guts. So I guess there's multiple solutions here. Health I don't need. Teleport took us to the mob trap room. Why not, right? Luckily, there's two hearts dropped on here. Oh, I can fly! Why don't I just exit? We'll pick up this bomb. Get out of here. That worked really well, actually. That was one of the first times I've ever used that. As it's designed. Well, maybe not designed, but... Either way, Mob Trap Room music still playing. But we won't let that perturb us. As we go along here, pick up a chest. That was obviously an easy room. Explosive diarrhea. Strength is a better pill. Let's teleport again. Hopefully we don't accidentally teleport into uh, that mob trap room, because I don't know how the game will deal with that. I think maybe Fistula would have disappeared. More hearts I can't use. And then we'll go over here. Oh, okay. Yep. Almost no way for me to avoid taking damage there. Luckily Charm of the Vampire was there to give me an extra half heart. More teleporting goodness. Ourselves and Diglett, uh, if I had just fired appropriately there, I could have avoided that damage and probably killed everything in the room in one hit. Sadly, I don't always play the way I'm supposed to. That was easy though, Charm of the Vampire hit me up again. Loki, uh, this is okay because we can fly. So this is going to save us on this room. We can pretty much just hang out over here, blow up those bomb flies, and murder Loki very easily. There we go. There's the boss. It's gonna be mom's heart. Um, it's risky. Let's do it. I'll save teleport for the next floor. Should we get there? Okay, we got a lot of bombs. Gotta make sure to use those to my advantage here. We are gonna slow mom's heart? I'm not sure if that's gonna do anything. The other thing is if I get into a lot of problems in this room, I might as well use my strength card here. If I get into a lot of problems here, I could just teleport out of the room. I'm not sure this would be for the best, because I would have to come back at some point. And I'm probably more likely to take damage uh, against the rooms 
on the womb than I am to take damage against Mom's heart, honestly. So we'll just keep dropping bombs here. Bomb strategy works pretty well. Mom's all out of sync here. It's going well. We should have a boss here. Duke of Flies will die nearly immediately. <laughs> More bombs to take care of the enemies. Chubb is the worst one that you could run into here, but he's still not so bad. I can fly over the creep, so I don't have to worry so much. I can basically just kind of hang out. I don't even have to go after Chubb. Chubb will die automatically when Mom's heart dies. Or, you know, we could just murder him as well. Got bullet flies. Got maybe two more hits. And it's dead. That wasn't so bad at all. Down to the next floor could potentially succeed here, but it's unlikely. Here's our teleport. I was kind of hoping that would take us directly to the boss room. This is bad. This is very, very bad. And it seems like this guy ends a lot of my runs. The Horseman of the Apocalypse knockoff. Horseman of the Apocalypse minus the horse. And of course, Greed, always around to end a video of mine. Should he be able to? But not this room, anyway. The more risky thing is running into a room that has two Greeds in it as well as other enemies, which does happen sometimes on these floors. Really should have gone to the secret room there. This is going to be a terrible room for me, considering my obvious shortcomings in the game right now. Yep. Charm of the Vampire did heal me a little bit, but one more hit is all I need to die. I don't think it's going to happen on this room. There we got an extra heart. Range uphill. Again, I can never get a speed uphill when I need one. There's the boss. I mean, it could happen. It's so unlikely against the Fallen, I gotta do some more exploring. Even if I die, like, there's no way I'm gonna get through the Fallen without uh, taking damage, considering how low my speed is right now. I've pretty much got to exhaust all of my options here. Luckily, we ran into Judgment, and I've got a ton of money, so... Should be able to, um... Get a compass. Pretty much worthless. But, we're replenishing a little bit of health every room, but all it takes is one bad room to, you know... Two hits is enough to put me in a bad spot here. Yep, there's one right there. Uh, we teleport again. Again, I am error is a necessity at this point. I don't even know if I am error can show up on this floor because you know usually it allows you to go down a floor, which I don't want to do. Well, I can't do because this is the last floor. So I don't even know what the heck is going on right here. This will probably be the end of me. Oh, you know, survived another room. Got enough to survive two more hits, so teleport again. Laser bullet flies, never should have taken damage there. But made it out. How long can I survive? That laser had it in for me. Got another heart. This is uh, kind of unbelievable luck right now. I can't avoid these bomb flies as well as I need to. Okay, just got one left now. I'm kind of amazed. Oh, there's a half heart. Definitely need that. Laser bullet flies. Okay, maybe we're actually going to start replenishing some health here. Unlikely, but maybe. Teleport again. Been there, done that, obviously. If I could get to four hearts, I might have a chance against Satan, but it's pretty unlikely. Very unlikely, in fact. Uh, but there we go. We can take three hits now. Dare I go to the mob trap room? I'm going to run into the worst bosses in the game. Three waves of the worst bosses in the game. Okay, really gotta get that... Oh, I didn't think he was gonna come top. I thought he was gonna go bottom next. Okay, Skull's dead. That's good. Now, if only they dropped the pony on this room. That sounds like a, like a dubstep term. You'll drop that pony. Anything. Full heart would be ideal here. <laughs> this pony has a lot of health. Oh, okay, half heart, that's fine. We'll teleport again. Already been here. Explored almost the entire floor, which I honestly can't believe. I would have assumed that I would have died before that. Now, two bomb flies. I'm actually getting kind of good at dealing with this guy, these guys from long range. More money, again, I can never use. We've got to pray that judgment is in this last room here. Or an arcade, but I would be able to see that with the compass and map. Alright, that's an easy room. We'll teleport again. That's our last chance of teleporting unless we get a heart and a half on this room. And we can go to the mob trap room. Oh, Greed's gonna have his shot. We can hide at this rock up here. Any of these rocks, really. Which would allow us to avoid taking damage, because obviously the damage will just bounce off the rock. 
We could also farm hoppers from this greed, but, you know, that doesn't- that seems outside of the spirit of the game, doesn't it? Well, we don't have any other options right now. We have to go fight Satan and maybe- oh, we can fly into the mob trap room, can't we? And then we can fly out. We'll pick up a full heart here and then just get the heck out of there, okay? Well, I've exhausted all of my options. Have I been to the secret room? I can't remember. Let's- might as well go. Maybe we'll get lucky. I've already been there, of course, yeah. Didn't make a sound when I opened it. You, can, you can't say I haven't tried in this video. And it's all been as a result of first getting so many speed downs, and then not getting any speed upgrades until, like, I believe it was on the wound part 1. Maybe the wound part 2 when we got that first speed upgrade. There's a chance. It's not a good chance, but it's a chance. And this is going to be a long fight, most likely, or a very, very short fight as I get killed. Normally need a lot of speed, A, to deal with the Fallen, and B, to get around the, uh, the bomb flies that start coming. That was a good, uh, first hit on the Fallen. That was terrible avoidance, though. Also, I have no defense. Like, I don't have a- I didn't pick up a single cube of meat somehow. And as a result, and no pretty flies, no halo of flies, so as a result, I'm, you know, pretty much just on my own when it comes to dodging. This has been one of the worst defensive runs not only that I've ever had, but that I've ever seen. I'm, you know, managing to do okay against the Fallen here. We'll place a bomb at Satan. Any damage that we can get right off the bat is helpful. It's going to be more difficult for us to avoid getting hit in that uh, laser attack, because we're going to be very slow going across the front of Satan. So I'm going to have to do a lot of dodging over here, which is also not my strong suit, considering I have no speed. And actually, that slowing kind of seems to help, but it also makes things worse. Because the bullets seem to stack in, like, more unpredictable ways. Amazingly, I am going to defeat the first form of Satan here. Second form of Satan, I guess. Or whatever. It's the second form of the boss. And we're just going to really try our best to avoid these bomb flies. And really, that's what I'm focusing on right now. I'm not worried about the, uh the feet at all. As long as I keep moving, I'll avoid the feet. But I've really got to avoid those bomb flies. This is not my traditional way to tackle this boss battle, uh, but it's working so far. There we go. Doing fi- oh! <laughs> I walked into Satan by accident. Oh! Uh, one more hit! Oh my god! One more hit would have done it! It still feels like a success, but that was a terrible hit at the end. Oh man, well, as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. What a terrible, terrible run with Maggie, but still almost pulled it out. As always, see you guys next time.